Hey everyone, Kelly here with the new year. I want to start out by thanking everyone who's recently subscribed and all of you who've continued to subscribe it means a lot to me. So a couple said they were interested in seeing this drawing as a video and it just so happens I recorded it. Um, it started out to just be kind of a review of this watercolor block of some Fabriano watercolor paper that is and um, I thought I would do a neurographic drawing and then paint in it and you know it'd be a quick easy fun little review but I really got into it and before I get too far into this I just want to show you this pen or mention it my son Ian turned this pen for me for my birthday and I'm using it for the neurographic part of the drawing. And it's, um, you know, it's from a kit at the uh, local woodworking store. And then he turned it for me. And so it's really, um, it was a nice pen for this part of the drawing. And I really enjoyed using it. So thank you, Ian. I love my pen. I also used a Derwent uh, Graphitent pencil. I wanted to try them. They looked really interesting because I'm kind of getting into the water soluble graphite or at least going over graphite with watercolor or vice versa. And um, so that's what I used here. It's like a watercolor pencil. And I was going to use some watercolor as well. Um, but as I got into this, I thought it would be really interesting to doodle inside um, the cells of this neurographic drawing. And um, because there's a thing, I, I'm still learning about the neurographic drawing thing. It's like a new thing. And um, I don't know, it's supposed to be kind of psychological, I think. I don't know. I'm not an authority on neurographic art, but it was really fun. And um, I started doodling and I was really kind of processing the events of the year. And like right here, and I'm you know, like, I had to do this take several times because I keep giggling about it. But I was thinking about my gut biome. You know, I was thinking about making black eyed peas for the first of the year and thinking about that. And wondering if that is good for your gut biome. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I'll try really hard not to giggle. It's kind of hard, though. I mean, I'm drawing gas vents <laughs> from the bottom. They're the creatures at the bottom of the ocean. You know, the ones that can live in horrendous pressure. <laughs> And they bent at the bottom of the ocean. Real highbrow stuff here that you're tuning into. But you know, I mean, there were more serious things that I was contemplating too. Like, um, I don't know if you do this, but I have a lot of imaginary conversations with famous people um, in my head. Like I have imaginary conversations with people like Brian Green and it's very cerebral and life-changing and earth-shattering until I realize I have no idea what I'm talking about in this conversation and then I'm very glad that it's an imaginary one but I mean I'm not completely ignorant um, I like to watch science documentaries, and I can follow it. I mean, it's not that over my head. Um, and while I'm watching the documentary, it makes perfect sense. It's just the next day. <laughs> I have no idea what exactly it all meant. And if, if I, I mean, come on. It took me twice to pass college algebra, and I'm not even sure I did. I think I got by taking business math. But anyway, um, 
I guess the point is, I kind of like to watch science documentaries and think about them and have conversations with imaginary, well, imaginary conversations with real people. I really hope you don't mind my giggles. Listen, 2021 was a really tough year for me. Um, I, I, I don't want to go into it and get all maudlin and all that, but Casey's brother died and my sister died. And unexpectedly, so we, within two months, we lost our best man and our maid of honor from our wedding. And then there was a whole lot of stuff about having to manage the estate and it's it's mostly all done. I had to sell um, the house I grew up in, so that was kind of a thing. Um, but most of it's done except for the accounting. Um, and by no means am I the only person who've lost somebody this past year. Um, and maybe we should take a moment to acknowledge that 2021 was maybe a pretty difficult year for a lot of people. And man, I hope 2022 is better. But I can tell you this, laughter makes everything easier. If you can find humor in your life, humor, it's just so important. You have to be able to laugh. But anyway, I want to get back to science because there's another green I like. I like Hank Green and, well, I may get him mixed up with his brother, but I like the Sci Show on YouTube. And recently I ran across this um, episode on aphantasia and people who don't have a mind's eye. They can't visualize things when their eyes are closed. And, um, So we did an experiment in our family and I found out that I have a really hard time visualizing some things in color when I close my eyes. But if I like look out into space, then I can visualize it just fine. But there's something about closing your eyes. I had a really hard time visualizing um, a red apple. I mean, the apple, I could see the apple, but I had a term visualizing the color. It was real, um, like, dark and muted, kind of like when you see a black and white photograph, certain colors like red are darker. But the weird thing is, um, I can lucid dream in color, and um, I can also... If I've painted something, I can visualize that in color with my eyes closed. So it's a really weird thing. And um, well, anyway, the other people in the family also did this experiment. And my elder son, Ian, the one who made the pen for me, um, I said something about a red rubber ball. And he said that rainbows are black and white for him when he closes the eyes. But when I said red rubber ball, he um, didn't visualize that song with the sun, but he visualized those red rubber balls that you used to play dodgeball with. And he said he could smell it. He could smell it. And he could visualize the texture on the ball. You know, that sort of basket weave. And He could literally feel the impact of one of those balls hitting his face, which I thought was fascinating. So maybe I should talk about this drawing and tell you a little bit about how this came about. But like I said, I was going to just do a demonstration um, and check out this paper in block form. And I, I actually have something I'm going to put together later and that really addresses the paper. 
But in the meantime, um, this is Fabriano Artistico Hot Press on a block, and it takes the ink pretty well. I mean, it's not designed for what I'm using it for, but it took the ink really well, and it the paper did get damaged a little bit because the um, the nibs on these pens are kind of sharp. They're they're meant for really smooth paper. Um, but I like using them because they're really precise. So the stippling here is really fine. And I haven't been able to get that in a micron or any other kind of pen, not even another kind of, um, technical pen, but I will say these pens are very temperamental, um, I bought a four aught, which is like a four times zero. Um, I think it's a 0.14 millimeter. Um, but the thing kept clogging up. I think that the particles and the ink are too big for it. And I just think you can't really reliably go finer than the three aught. It just doesn't work. And I still have to clean them frequently and they are really temperamental. But I just, man, there's nothing like them. There just isn't. So you can see, and I had so much fun. It felt so good to make those scratchy lines. I don't know, it scratched an itch in my brain. I liked it. And I really liked filling each cell with kind of a unique um, theme. It kind of felt like a real good year-end project because I thought about a lot about what happened in the year. And I mean, a lot of really good things happened too. I mean, my YouTube channel got over 100 subscriptions when I really was kind of neglectful of it. And um, because of all the stuff that was going on, I didn't get to spend as much time making art as I want to. And yet my Instagram still is growing. And I feel kind of bad because I made some disparaging remarks about the Instagram, uh, I don't know, the algorithm and everything. But... I'm starting to find more of a community on Instagram and I found some other artists. Some of you are following me here and we're doing stuff, um, following each other on Instagram and I'm discovering a lot of new, very inspiring art and I get very inspired by other artists and seeing how they do things and what they do. So that aspect of 2021 was pretty good. Um, the other thing is that I left my job. Oh my gosh. Um, I took the job when I was homeschooling my um, younger son. And the hours worked really, really well for me. And I loved the job. I mean, I loved the people and the students. So while I was making this drawing, I was really thinking about everything. I was thinking about uh, all the changes that happened this past year. And um, by the way, I left my job at the end of the semester. It was just kind of a natural time to leave. And I hadn't intended to work there as long as I did. Um, and honestly, the hours were kind of messing with my sleep and my nutrition, and it was just really hard to get into a rhythm. And I need a, I need a rhythm. So, um, you know, I decided to leave at the end of the semester. And, um, oh my gosh, my students gifted me with a charcuterie. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but I, had the best class. It was hard to leave them because they're not done yet. They're not going to be done until spring. But now I get to go in and get facials from them. 
And so I was thinking about that while I was doing this. And I was thinking about my goals, you know, for 2022. Uh, what are my goals? What do I want to do? I'm going to, I've decided that I'm going to really give making art a go as a profession or, well, I've given myself to the end of the year. And if I don't see significant um, potential, I, I don't have to be making a lot of money, but if I don't see um, a potential that this is, and I'll know, um, then it'll go back to a hobby, but I'm really going to throw myself into it and see what happens. Cause I really think 85% of it is just doing the work, just do the work, show up, do it. So, um, I'm working on figuring out how to make that happen. You know, what avenues are available and what's relevant in this weird, strange time, I'm not sure galleries, I wanted to reach out to some galleries and see what happened, but, or see what could happen. Uh, but I just don't know. I mean, every time I think we're getting past um, this pandemic, it picks up again. Um, so I don't know. But I know one thing. Um, I'm going to be working on my website. Um, I'm eligible to do a shop on Instagram now. And I don't know anything about that. So I may be learning a lot this year. And I'm pretty stoked about it. I really am. I have a lot of um, optimism about it. Because if I could get through this past year and accomplish the things that I did, I feel like I could... I can do it. And maybe adversity is a good thing because it does tell you what you're made of and what you can accomplish. So that was definitely something I was thinking about while I was doing this, setting my goals for 2022, um, thinking about where potential avenues are and how to access them. And how to learn things. Learning is important. I know I'm going to want to find ways to make my videos a lot more um, engaging. And because this particular drawing took so long. And there was so much footage to go through. Um, I did really do a lot with trying to um, put memes in there. GIFs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm going to be learning that. And um, so if you'd like to see more of my videos and like to encourage me to keep going and show me that there's some potential in here, please do give me a like and a subscribe on this. And, um, you know, moral support is really helpful. So anyway. Have a great day and um, maximize your own potential. And um, um, I've decided that happy is not what I'm after. Happy is very um, ethereal, but satisfaction, I'm going for that. That's what I'm going for. I want to be satisfied when I am on my deathbed, I want to be able to look back at my life and say, it was a satisfying experience. So I hope you have a satisfying experience as far as your day and your life and your relationships and whatever your endeavors are. So thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Bye.